Hello YouTube, it's DJ Zogage Trains. I'm going to show you a little experiment I've been doing with this uh, testing track here. Got a regular MTH lock on with a power run to it. So I got outside ground and then center rail hot. And uh, typically in, when you run just one lock on or one lock on every 10 to 15 feet like you're supposed to do, um, you'll only get ground to one of the outside rails, not both. And that causes signal compromise. And I've had a lot of trouble with that this past year and all the years I've been running the trains. And I remembered something in Rich Batista's video where he set up a really big layout, really beautiful, realistic looking layout um, using MTH scale tracks, which has about the same reputation as real tracks. It's a glitchy track system. But the one thing he did is he ran ground to both outside rails. Uh, he spliced the ground wire and then would solder it directly to both outside rails. So I'm trying something similar to that where I have a ground wire here and I'm going to connect it to that lock on. First I'm going to show you how it runs without that ground and uh, you'll see. So I got this uh, Lionel engine here that I'm going to turn on in conventional mode. See? So what happened there is it shorted out. The engine just hit, hit a, had a glitch and it shorted out. So I'm going to connect this wire here. Excuse me if my body gets in the way. Tighten that down. We're going to try it again. Much better now at slow speed. No shorts whatsoever. Alright, I'm going to shut it off. So I just wanted to show you that. I've uh, tried this with a few different engines and um, it's been a busy day so I haven't spent a whole lot of time with trains today. Maybe about an hour, hour and a half. But uh, over the course of the next week or so I'm going to pull out a bunch of different engines and try this out. But I just wanted to show you this. Um, I think it solved a lot of my problems. As you can see there were no more glitches. Uh, the engine ran smoothly and um, for me that's awesome because a lot of times my engines uh, they uh, stall out man this and that and the other and it's very very frustrating so I think I finally figured out that issue by running a second ground wire to the uh, to the outside rail on this track system so anyway that's it for now this is DJ's old gauge trains and I'll talk to you next time bye bye